The Liver King, aka Brian Johnson, exploded onto the social media scene in August 2021. In just one year, he's amassed a whopping 1.6 million followers on Instagram and 3 million followers on TikTok. However, he didn't make it this far without some controversy. Looks like a shredded CrossFit fetter that's on a lot of steroids. That's just what he looks, but Liver King says 100% natural, so I guess you're gonna have to take the Liver King's word or every single other person in the world. Many people will tell you that he's a steroid using fraud whose teachings put people's lives in danger. The Liver King, get the fuck out of here. Everybody's gonna have a gimmick. Look, this dude is a character. He's playing a fucking character, right? And if he's not, he's mentally unstable and needs fucking help. That's all there is to it. Others think he's discovered a cure for allergies, diseases, depression, and more. The one thing that both of these sides will agree with is that his day-to-day -day life is nothing short of unbelievable. I'm gonna take a huge bite out of these testicles. Mm. Even though he's only been active on social media for about a year, his journey to becoming the liver king actually started way back in middle school. In his own words, he grew up sad and weak. His father passed away when he was very young and he was often bullied at school. However, his life drastically changed once he started working out at about nine years old. After making some progress, the bullying came to an end and people seemed to respect him more. After he graduated high school, he attended Texas Tech University, where he got a chemistry degree before heading to medical school. He quickly realized medical school just wasn't for him and dropped out to work for a pharmaceutical company. Soon after, he met his wife who was working as a dentist at the time. The two later opened their own dental practice and had two sons. Growing up, the kids were in and out of the hospital constantly due to various illnesses and allergies. Brian tried every specialist, every medicine, every pseudoscientific cure in the book with little to no success. It wasn't until he read the book Nourishing Traditions that he noticed some results. This book claimed to challenge politically correct nutrition by providing some very interesting recipes and theories on food and dietary supplements. For example, after reading this book, Brian decided to cut out processed foods for things like raw liver, bone marrow, blood, and other foods that aren't common to a modern day diet. As a result, his kids' medical issues came to a halt and their grades and overall fitness skyrocketed. It was at this point that Brian saw the value in living an ancestral lifestyle and decided to fully commit. He ditched his mattress for some wooden boards and a wool sheet. He requires all cell phones in his household to be locked up in electromagnetic radiation proof bags. And instead of just going to the gym, he pulls UTVs with his teeth. He also created the nine ancestral tenets, which range from things like having a regular sleep schedule to avoid wearing shoes whenever possible. Think about it. When was the last time you had your bare feet planted on the earth? The benefits include better sleep, better hormones, better, leaner, stronger body. Brian started promoting this lifestyle online and even created his own supplement business. Within a year of his first post as the liver king, he's built an audience of several million people. But just like every other influencer on social media, he's got quite a few haters as well. These people claim that he uses steroids, has ab implants, or that his entire lifestyle is nothing but a gimmick to get more sales and more followers. The Liver King denies all these allegations entirely and calls these accusers subprimals. So this is what I say to people that make this accusation. If you don't believe this is possible, then I suggest that you take that self-limiting belief, you put that in a box and you bury that next to all your embarrassing and don't open your mouth about it. The issue is that many of these subprimals actually present a fair argument. The Liver King claims he's built all his muscle through raw meat, simulated hunting, and exercises like these. However, almost anyone who knows anything about building muscle and bodybuilding will tell you that his physique is absolutely unattainable without steroids or some form of cosmetic surgery. Why not just be honest? Why not say, so I had abdominal etching. I literally took out the fat in between my abdominals and now my abs are even more visible than before. That guy's on steroids. Well, Just shut the fuck up. Most people don't have any issues with performance enhancing drugs or cosmetic surgeries, unless you're a pro athlete or you lie about it. Unfortunately, the Liver King claims to be 100% natural, which has several negative consequences. First off, he sells numerous products supporting his ancestral lifestyle. Many of the customers purchase these products with the belief that it can help them attain the physique of the Liver King. 
which just isn't true. But more importantly though, it puts many of his viewers in legitimate danger. There are very few proven benefits to eating raw meat, and the dangers greatly outweigh them. As you probably already know, cooking meat helps eliminate parasites and foodborne illnesses. Additionally, humans have been cooking meat for hundreds of thousands of years. Therefore, it's actually ancestral to not expose yourself to these pathogens. Another example of the liver king's dangerous influence is that he claims to eat about a pound of raw liver every single day. The general consensus from nutritional experts is that liver should not be eaten more than once a week. Consuming excess liver can cause copper buildup, vitamin A toxicity, and several other severe consequences. Someone who sees his videos and attempts to imitate his diet may contract parasites, dangerous pathogens, and long-term organ issues. This leaves many of us questioning how real the Liver King lifestyle actually is, because if he truly lived this way, he probably wouldn't have the same physique and would probably be doing severe damage to his body. So are all these extreme workouts and unusual meals just a gimmick to gain more views and sales? At the end of the day, you can argue that he's making a positive impact. At its core, he's promoting fitness, eating whole foods, and getting outside. All of which are good things. However, he's simultaneously promoting a dangerous diet and seems to be dishonest about how he's built his physique, which raises questions about his credibility when it comes to things like his supplement businesses.